Hello YouTubers. Here we have an HP Mini laptop. HP Mini 210 I think the model number is. I'll confirm that once I start turning into it. But tonight we're going to change the hard drive on it. So to start we're going to flip this unit over. And you've got two little locks here. See the little lock icon? Move that over. There's another one here. Move that over. It's on a spring. Pull your battery out. Okay, now once your battery's out, you'll have to pry this bottom cover off. If you look right here, there's holes here to pry this cover. You push the little orange button and it will eject the cover just like that. You just pull on it, push the orange buttons. Now we're in the bottom of it. That takes the bottom off of it. And once you're in the bottom of it, if if you have one of these units, we'll do a quick walk through. There's your your Microsoft sticker steal that number I don't care I don't use Windows that is the wireless card here's the hard drive this is what we're going to be changing out your fan for your CPU and your RAM notice that's a 2 gig stick although they say you can only run 1 gig in this unit it will run fine with a 2 gig stick anyways and there's your BIOS battery but we're going to be pulling this hard drive out of here and swapping it with a solid state drive. This is an interesting computer. I've never done one like this before. But all you do is you grab this tab here, gently lift it up, and peel the sticker. And once you get this end up, pull it to the left, back slightly. And you get to this point with a loose hard drive. Simple enough. Now, last little bit of sticker. Flip it over. Now this connector has to come off of here. I'll need two hands to get that. Okay, now. This thing ain't wanting to focus. But I got my connector part apart. Notice too, the sticker protrudes. It ain't really sticky there on this unit but it will hold up your connector there a bit. So now that we've got that off, I've got a screw there, a screw there, one there trying to hide under the sticker, and another one here hiding under the sticker. So we'll pull them four screws and put our solid state drive in. Now this is a new one on me. All the caddy is in this laptop is two little rails, one on each end, and a sticker of all things, literally. The sticker is the hard drive caddy. How strange is that? Anyways, I wanted to show you that, so I'd never ran into that before. So we will put the new hard drive in the um, caddy, for lack of a better term and I'll be back. This hard drive caddy was a royal pain in the butt to line all these holes back up to put the screws in. If you're not careful you can definitely strip the holes out in your hard drive. But as you can see my solid state drive is now installed ready to go back in the unit. Okay now I have my connector back in here so it's just a matter of Sliding the tabs underneath, just like it come out. See the tabs there underneath? And up here. All it holds it is the rubber mounts and the sticker. So, I'm going to need two hands for this job. But you get the idea. Okay, now that's put back in the slots like it's supposed to be. Pushed my sticker down as best I could to get it to stick. So now... 
We just need to put the lid on the bottom. I guess this is an HP Mini 210. I can't find a model number anywhere on this thing. All I see is HP Mini up there. But I believe it's a 210. So, you just lay your bottom back on. Just start pushing around the edges. And it will slowly start to click back into place. It'll take a few rounds to get it right. As you can hear, it'll make awful noises. Maybe I need to start with this. Let me try that again. That's my mistake. The bottom goes in first like this, as you can see. These holes here and these tabs, they line up at the bottom. So get it in the line here. Go figure. Man starts filming, it's when it wants to fight, alright? Let me get both hands on this. Now it's back together. Like I said, work from the bottom down here. You've seen the little tabs I showed you. Line them up. <clears throat> Once you get them lined up, put it down, go around it, it'll snap, pop, crack. And both of these orange things you have to push to release this bottom. Kind of push one, work one side, push one, work the other side, it'll release for you. Now, battery goes back in. Cop. Put your locks back in. And she's good to go. That's how you change how you change to hard drive in an HP Mini. Thanks for watching. More to come later. And I apologize if this video is hard to watch.